There you go, come on. He's got a rabbit trapped in here. And he doesn't want to leave it alone. Come on, Dingo, let's get, we ain't got time to be chasing the rabbits. Today's June 21st, summer solstice. It would be a bright sunny day, but you can see what's going on as usual. Fucking spraying the fuck out of the sky again. But anyways, on a brighter note, I was listening to my one of my favorite gurus on YouTube this morning. This guy, his name is Rich 2150X. And man, this guy, you know, I think he's he's figured out what's going on with the, you know, the nature of things, you know, true nature of reality, you might say. He's got this this his new video is called what was it? It's about being trapped in the matrix, yeah. And uh, it's really interesting, man. It's like well, it's a lot of this kind of same kind of stuff I'm talking about, where there's like these fourth dimensional beings that are what I like to refer to as archons. Basically, that are keeping us trapped here. Like, we're really like a human is really a multi-dimensional being, and like, like when we go to sleep, we uh, kind of we're capable of, you know, leaving our bodies and traveling. Incarnated. Uh, he talks about how incarnation is like you know, being trapped. In, yeah, it's like really it's hard to it's hard to imagine because you know life is so awesome but really it's like being for your spirit it's like being trapped in a prison because the spirit reality the the higher dimensional reality that you that you, your spirit can live in is much more wonderful than the earth really I think is the idea but See, when we die, and we leave this. We leave this planet. That's what the video is about. Like, do they are they playing our playing our souls after we die? You know, are they keeping us trapped here, it, 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 tricking us back into a, being reincarnated? I've had, I've been knocked unconscious real hard and really felt like I had an out of body experience. I don't know if it was just imagined in my mind or. It was real, but I'm starting to think. I'm pretty sure it was real, man. But no, this whole matrix, as we as we refer to it, as they keep us trapped in, is you know, it's all about keeping you you from seeing the truth. This whole world that they put around it, it's just like the movie. This whole world that they put us around us is there to hide us from the, from our true selves that we're. We really are not this body in this in this life. We are. The idea is, is that we're this spirit experiencing a, a human existence is more what we are. This is just. But they want us to believe that this is all there is. This reality of the physical reality is, is referred to, and that's what most humans do believe that well no a lot of humans a lot of humans believe in the false religion that there's some god out there you know judging you and looking down on us and that, that's that what that's all about is you know, keeping you from seeing the truth that when you die they're, they're going to judge you and that's bullshit, man. That the whole religion story is there to keep you. It was all designed to keep us trapped in the matrix. This whole world we live in is designed for that to to keep us believing in that reality. That 
this is all that there, there is. And we know there is, there's heaven that's controlled by God. This is not true. This is, this is someone else's reality. Is what the, is what the idea is. We're, we're trapped in somebody else's reality. It's like Neo in the Matrix. You know, the difference is that we're, the reality is that we're spirits trapped in a physical reality. We're, 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 you know, we're consciousness trapped in a physical reality. Whereas in the Matrix, it was somebody that was in the physical reality trapped in a false physical reality. You know, it was real parallels to the truth, but like just like one dimension lower. This this reality is there's dimensions stacked on top of dimensions. And the physical reality is just one. There's dimensions below the physical reality and there's dimensions above the physical reality. But this is just one vibration field, physical reality that we exist in as, as these beings. Well, the, well the, the beings we are, the beings that we truly are, are not this body. The body is a trap for the beings that we really are. Basically keeping us in physical reality where we're, we're ruled by time, you know. We're all, our whole life is ruled by time. Clock. Is that dog? Can you go? Is that a pretty doggy? Come on, buddy. You know, we're born in, into this world without one fucking ounce of knowledge whatsoever. We have to learn every single thing. But he says that our spirits really, our, our consciousness has millions and millions of years of, of knowledge, you know, but can we get that back? <coughs> I don't know. Can we, how do, when we, when we die, how do we get by these guys, man? How do we escape? We got to be smart enough to just tell them, no, man, I'm not, I don't want to be reincarnated in your matrix. Just kind of like when you've done nothing wrong and the police try to come and violate your rights you can just deny it you know I don't want to I don't want to answer your questions something like that maybe but you got to be smart enough and have the will to resist their tempting you to be back into the physical reality so many many millions of people might escape the matrix and then what happens if you do escape the matrix? Just be pure consciousness. Living in the universe. Maybe the universe is your body. You know, they talk about hell in the Bible. And then a lot of people talk about hell is earth. I think that's the true reality of it. They're just it's just getting worse every day. Why would you want to be trapped in this place? But you see, the fact is, is that most people cling to the physical reality. You know, they, they are so so taught and you know just totally brainwashed to believe it. That that's what matters. Man. It's all that matters is how much money they got, how, what, where they, how nice of a house they live in, how nice is their car. That's, that shit doesn't matter, mean nothing, man. I, I, you know, I come to realize that shit can, uh, cannot be taken away just like that. And it is all the time by people, to 
people. What really matters is, you know, that you can escape this physical reality in the end. That's what really matters. Not cling to it, jealously cling to your life. Fearful of dying, it's, that's how they got, when, when people like that is the ones that they got. It'll never escape. I think that's it, man. The only, you know, it's true. It's like the, the monks and shit. They don't own anything. The only way to escape the physical reality, is you just have to let go of it. You have to just let go of everything you have. Really, literally. So I know it sounds crazy, man. It's like, isn't that what Jesus said to do too? Huh. But the, the, the church wants you to give everything to them. I just can't believe all these religious people still cling to that fucking ancient dogma. It's kind of like in Star Wars, they, they said that the Jedi's were fucking ancient religious freaks. <laughs> Dingo's favorite rocks. He just loves to climb up there. Pose, show off for the camera. What do you think about the Matrix, Tingo? So fuck the Matrix. I'm gonna catch me a fucking rabbit. Whoa! Who are these things? The, the Archons, the Controllers, the Succubuses, the Incubuses. The mind parasites, the, the dream stealers. <laughs> I think they really, they really get a lot of negative energy out of people when they're sleeping, like causing them to have unpleasant dreams. You know, Cause they're able to affect people to get into your into your dream state, into that dimension that your mind goes into, and. I think that's what causes a lot of, a lot of my unpleasant dreams of dark entities because not because they're evil or dark but they keep people in the darkness they keep people ignorant to the true nature of reality and trapped in the physical matrix it's really deep shit man but like Rich said, he don't like talking about it too much because most people just aren't ready to aren't ready for that kind of knowledge. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching.